just look at this woman walking here this is text to videos this is a prompt a stylish woman walks down a tokyo street filled with warm glowing neon animated city signage and just look at the signs in the background i mean the consistency of the character walking of the background of everything it it's freaking fantastic i i, I mean this is amazing this is better than anything i have ever seen so far and wow just look at that you have the same character it's zoomed in you can see the background still and this looks well honestly pretty realistic so this is sora by open ai creating video from text the sora is an ai model that can create realistic and imaginative scenes from text instructions it says here and you know just giving it you to you very simple it's text to video and there's saying here we're teaching ai to understand and simulate the physical world in motion looking at these videos here and comparing it to everything else like stable video diffusion pika runway this blows everything else out of the water at least for now because this isn't based on some sort of an video input the image input i mean stable diffusion you can have these amazing video inputs that um, where you can change scenes and characters this is just text to video and it's i mean just wow look at that face that looks like a real shot <laughs> wow that's oh this is this is so cool a lot of these shots could be in a movie and the character consistency that they're getting it, it's it's amazing from scene to scene there's another part where they're shooting a, a helicopter fly through over the, the, the cliffs here and, and the water and the water looks amazing i mean just give this a couple of years and we're not gonna need video cameras at all i wonder what will happen with uh with me with my face if i'm just gonna be an ai representation probably probably here we have some sort of an animated scene and um, looking at the prompt here animated scene features a close-up of a short fluffy monster kneeling beside a melting red candle the art style is 3d and realistic with a focus on lighting and texture uh, it's actually quite long so there's the mood of the painting is is one of wonder and curiosity as the monster gazes at the flame with wide eyes and open mouth so it's a one of those super long dolly kind of prompts just i'm, I'm trying to find flaws in this scene because it's, I mean, it it's so good, it's so amazing. How could they have kept all of this a secret and then just drop the bomb like this? I wonder how far the, the competition is in their internal tests because no one has anything close to this when it comes to text to video out there right now. And whatever you, I look at here, I mean, obviously these are cherry picked, so these are the best ones that they can find. But I mean, even so, to get almost perfect results from cherry picked stuff still very 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 good i'm assuming there is no post processing on this oh, wow this looks yeah the movement you have that little jerkiness that the birds have i mean the plumes up here maybe not 100 percent, but the rest of it looks very very nice what do you guys think does it look realistic or not i think it does the movement i i don't know what to say this is just freaking fantastic and here you have two little ships flying around in a, it looks like to be oh you know, it says here cup of coffee i thought it was some sort of a cola or something but it's uh mini ships floating around in coffee um, i can just i know it's corny i can keep watching this all day but it's just amazing comment if you got that anyway Let's check uh, later. It says today source becoming available to red teamers to assess critical areas for harms or risks. So, you know, deep fakes is going to be a huge issue moving forward as this uh, gets out there. We're also granting access to a number of visual artists, designers and filmmakers to gain feedback on how to advance the model to be most helpful for creative professionals. Where's my access, guys? Uh, very few of my uh, AI YouTube content creators uh, cut it as well. So I'm not sure what's going on there. And uh, well, maybe some did. And there's some sort of huge NDA and they can't even talk about it. But I don't have it currently. You have historical footage of California during the gold rush. And you have that little jerry old style on it so he didn't you know kind of fake that so that's cool close up of a glass sphere with a sun garden <laughs> a cute little dwarf in there raking that's just adorable i mean just imagine what's going to be available once this 
gets out there. I mean, just for, you know, Pixar, Disney, or whatever animation studios, they're probably gonna be able to use this quite soon or, or technique similar to this. Realistic, like, video, that's obviously uh, gonna be, I mean, you can ease your spot when there's an issue with that for animation, stuff like that. That's uh, much, uh, much easier to get away with. Just looking at, uh, we're gonna look at that character, this character here, let me pause. So this person, we have the stripe, the shirt here. So let's go back and let's look at that and just look at how it actually, it stays fairly consistent. There is some warping when you're far out here, but it's so, so very consistent. I'm blown away. Again, it was some warping, but so it's just a, such a hard task. So it's so, so good. And here we have a little Petri dish with bamboo forest growing and these cute little tiny red pandas running around. I mean, we're gonna, we're entering some sort of a creative revolution here where content is gonna be, well, content is democratized. Everyone's gonna be able to create their own content and content's gonna be so very, I think, personalized in a way. You might not have these like huge Hollywood movies anymore. You're gonna have much more tailored to a specific niche or a community. Uh, they can watch basically, you know, anything you can probably be able to prompt your own mo movies or TV. Just imagine, you can prompt like, oh, uh, give me uh, 10 new episodes of uh, South Park or whatever. And I know, we actually, I actually did a video on that a while by back where you could uh, make your own South Park episode. That was kind of, you know, crude. It was okay-ish, but not perfect. We're gonna be able to get some really, really good stuff out there. I mean, it, it just goes on and on. Everything is just fantastic. I mean, I'm not, I can't, I'm not gonna get tired for this for days. Here's a little cat and someone's, they got some, whoa, even, <laughs> they had some warping in the face while she moved, but you can even see like the cat is poking her in the face and she kind of get these wrinkles from trying to avoid it. This is like, this is like the first day of stable diffusion. Like when I saw the first ever animation made with stable fusion i was blown away and the next time i was blown away was when i saw control net because control net was really the next huge leap and i think this is probably the next huge leap forward there have been a lot of leaps in between but you don't get blown away that often and now i am blown away so there's lots of videos here, you can check the site, I'm gonna link it in the description if you haven't already seen it. There's also a lot of stuff about safety, you know, deep fakes, stuff like that. Some um, um, lawmakers, how they're gonna react to this. Here we have a cute little dog jumping over. Uh, it says soy is a diffusion model, so you know, if you've been around, you know, stable diffusion, diffusion. It generates a video by starting off with the noise and then iterates from that noise. So, you know, similar techniques. Let's see what else they're talking about. Uh, and they say all videos on this page were generated directly by Sora without modification. Let that sink in for a little bit. Let me know what you think in the comments below because I want to know, are you as blown away as I am? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.